What's up my YouTube viewers, my YouTube subscribers? Uh, today I have an issue with um, a Model 2 Sega Genesis. Um, the power light r right here uh, won't turn on. I plug it in, I know I checked the currency coming out of the AC wall adapter and it's where it should be. So uh, we're going to open it up and see what's going on here. Okay, so I already took a couple screws out just to be a little faster. There's four screws on the bottom that hold it in, Phillips bit. Then we have this guy right here. Okay, so we got to take the heat, heat sink off. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws to remove. I'm going to do it with a drill. Do it quick. gather them up later, it's no big deal. It's only a few screws. Try not to lose them though. Okay, and looks like it's been bent here actually. This should just pop, oh, one more. This should just pop right up. There you go. Okay, now the guy's out. All the screws are out. Beautiful. Now we got the heat sink off. We're left with the motherboard here. Let's get some of those screws out. There we go. Put those bad boys all to the side. And well, okay, that's why right there. If you look right here, where my thumb is, I don't know if the camera can see it, but right there, see that? The LED's broken. And it says LED right there on the board. Okay. So, I have a replacement LED here. Hopefully this should work. Okay, this is just a 2 volt uh, LED. Okay, just remember guys, the uh, shorter leg is the negative. Okay. So, there is still two more screws that hold the board down. Right here and here on the side of the cartridge slot. So let's take those bad boys out. Look at this fucking hammer drill I'm using for for electronics. Figure that one out. Anyway. Alright, so the board pops out. Upon further farther, sorry, inspection. Yep. So there's the board here. And you can see where it is right here. The broken LED is like it's completely broken off. Okay, so you flip the board over, and there's the two connections for it. So, we're going to heat up the soldering gun. Hopefully you guys did that by now, which I already did. And then you need your solder sucker. It's this guy right here. That's the solder sucker. So the plunger goes down, press the button, sucks up all the solder, press it down again, removes all the solder, press it up, sucks up. So, that's the whole thing. So, let's... Uh, Get the soldering iron on here, on this board. So these ones right there. Let's make sure that the right ones kick in. So let's remove these. I'm pretty sure I got it all, but more and more is coming off, so let's just keep going with this. There we go. Put our soldering iron to the side. Hopefully you have a holder for it. Not like me, I don't have one. Let's flip the board over. And actually, it fell right out. Right there. I don't know if you can see it. What the hell is it? Right there. It was there. See the two holes? So it's actually, looks like it's labeled. It 
Yeah, this side right here on the right appears to be the positive side. It shows it on the board a little positive. So then you want to take your new LED here. And the positive side is the side with the longer leg. So we take the board here. Okay, and there's a slot right there. So you want to put the longer leg side positive on the right. Hopefully she slides right in, which she did. So now that's into the board. You guys see it there? Okay. Where is it? It's a little confusing here. There it is. See it going up and down? So you want to flip the board over. And you just want to take these pins that are coming through the board and just give them a little bit of a bend either way. Like that. Just to spread them out a bit. Okay. Then, once you got them spread out, you just want to apply some solder. Now this is going to assure contact, number one, and number two, number two, this is going to stiff it right up. So in order to solder, you kind of just want to heat, um, I'm just using a light dollar store solder too. You kind of want to use just the, you want to heat up the side of the circuit board and the, the part itself. You don't want to actually heat up the actual solder. So you want to heat up everything but the solder. And then... There's one, seems to be strong, seems to have made contact. And then, bend this up a bit so I can get on this side. And there's two right there. Okay, now that should be it right there. Uh, you can, you can stop right now and check it if you wanted to. Um, obviously, so now you have um, these two, like, I don't know, hairs sticking off there. These the, from the old LCD. So you want to kind of break those bad boys off. At least the best you can. Try to get it low if you can, but if you can't, what are you going to do? You don't want any of these to touch anything else on the board. It might cause a short. Alright, so those bad boys are in. Actually, it looks like we're doing pretty good because some of the other soldering ports there. I'm just going to bend this down. Are a little higher, so we should be good against the RF shield on the bottom. Okay, so there's your LED. Hopefully it's the proper size, <laughs> but we'll see what happens here. Alright, so you'd want to test it first. Um, I'm pretty confident this will work. Like it's just like changing a light bulb, but instead of, you know, screwing it in, you're just using solder. Okay. So you want to put your screws back in there. And use your friggin' hammer drill. <laughs> yeah, this is a little bit too much of a drill for uh, electronics, but this is what I have available here, so. All right, you wanna put your heat sink back on. Make sure it lines up nice. Okay, so those four screws and the longer ones are for the outside. And then, take all your screws together here. beats the hell out of doing it by hand. That gets old real fast. Takes forever. That's not good. There you go. Just pop right out. Now when you have this thing open, now's the best time to spray some uh, condensed air into the uh, motherboard there, clean up any dust, 
If you want to clean up the pin connectors here, you can do so with a credit card up and down. And like, yeah, anything thin, but will stay together. Like, I wouldn't recommend a paper towel, but if you wanted to use, let's say, like a baby wipe, go up and down, and you'll be amazed at the stuff that you pull off there. Okay, so now this is starting to look like a Sega again. Alright, feels like it's lined up pretty good. Now you don't want to go too tight, you know. You just as soon as you feel it snug up, stop. Because you don't want to over tighten it. Potentially strip the plastic out on the inside that's holding it. Okay, so there's the bad boy there. Let's see if I fix this light issue. Just grabbing an AC adapter right now. Which I should have had ready, but okay, model two. Model two takes yellow tip. That's the way I try to remember it. Test it out. Three, two, one. There we go. From one that didn't have a light that was broken off, looks nice and shiny red. Actually worked out pretty good, you know. So now we have a light indicating when the system's on. And yeah, that's it. Uh, if you guys have any comments, any easier tricks to do this or anything at all, uh, like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I upload videos like this all the time. And uh, take care.